what's up everybody grant the car guy here nice to see you again today we're going to be doing a leak testing how-to video on a 2008 subaru outback that's my wife's car that's my car pay no attention to whatever the heck is that thing so quick and simple video here so let's get started so obviously first thing you want to do pop the hood um we drove here from arizona we're in connecticut and my wife's car was overheating oh hold on I can do this with one hand, I promise. There we go. It was overheating a lot, and um, I kept having to add coins in it after we did a couple hundred miles a day for a road trip, so there's obviously some leaking going on, and we're gonna find that leak, and we have a special tool that's gonna help us. All right, after we pop the hood, I just took the air snorkel off so we can actually see more of what's going on. First step, besides popping the hood, is you wanna make sure it's cool to the touch because you don't want your radiator cap to turn into all faithful and send you to the hospital with second and third degree burns. And then we're gonna use our tool. This is a ever tough radiator and cap test kit. Uh, the part number is 67085. I got it from O'Reilly's and it does fit. So let me explain how this works. So it comes with a bunch of little inserts and basically this is gonna replace your radiator cap. So you find the one that fits and I already know which one fits. So you snug that bad boy on there and then you take this bicycle pump looking thing and you attach it. All right, so that top piece threads on like a radiator cap on top of the adapter as well. You just kind of make sure it has a nice tight seal. Otherwise you won't be able to build pressure uh, with the ye old bicycle pump. At least the eyelashes on the CRV provide a good background. So the Subaru radiator cap is actually rated for 16 PSI. So that's gonna be, I don't know if you guys can see that, but 16 PSI is the little white section up here that's 15 to 16. So we're gonna pump it up to 16, 17 and PSI and see if we start seeing any leaks or any hisses. We're gonna look above and below the car. All right, and if you're not gaining PSI when you're pumping it up, it probably means this is not tight enough. I had to monkey with this a little bit, but if you pump it up. Okay, I can hear a leak already, so I'll show you guys where it's leaking. All right, so I'm leaking right through there, and then also, that's quite the leak as well. You can actually see it dripping. So I need a new top radiator hose and some new clamps as well. I don't know what happened to my camera. Um, so another good place to look is the heater hoses, which are back here. These are these guys. These are as dry as a bone. And then look along the bottom of the radiator as well. Um, this is an aftermarket radio. Or radiator, not radio. Radiator made out of... Uh, cheap chinesium so they like to crack along the bottom as well but this is where it's leaking so this is the culprit um quick little video here just a little how-to uh just in case you're suffering with the same problem this was 167 dollars to rent from o'reilly's but you have to pay for it but it's basically like a deposit you can take it back and then they won't charge you so that's pretty much it but uh thanks for watching hope this helped make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys later Treat the like button like a Subaru and slam it. Advice from me.